The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I'm going to show you how to draw the tool holder which is project 4.4 in Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD. If you look at the project in the in the book it tells you to make four layers visible, hidden, center, and text. And I've already made those layers. It also set, tells you to set the limits to 0, 0 for the lower left and 2418 for the upper right. And then to go into your text style and set the font for your text to Arial. So I've done all of those things so I'm ready to start drawing. And you, you may have to go in and do that before you begin your drawing. I've opened up the prototype of course that, that we were supposed to use for this project which is called Daily Work Prototype. And the first thing I want to do before I start drawing the front view is to go up to my layer control and pick on the down arrow and find the miter box layer and go and pick on the light bulb and turn the miter box layer on because I'm going to draw the front view starting in the lower left hand corner right in here uh, the right view will start in the upper left hand corner did I say the right view? the top view will start in the upper left hand corner and the right side view will start in the lower right hand corner over here so the first thing I want to do now that I have my miter layer on is to turn on the visible layer. So I'm going to come up here again to my layer control, pick on visible, and set it current. So let's look at uh, the front view, what this uh, object's going to look like. I've already uh, brought in a little sketch of that showing what it's going to look like over here, plus I have the sketch with all the dimensions on it. And uh, the way I think I'm going to start this is to just draw a rectangle that is 7 inches long and is 2.75 inches tall and that rectangle would completely enclose the front view. So that's the first thing I want to do. So I'm going to go find the rectangle command. It's located right up here. I'm going to pick rectangle and I'm asked to specify the first corner so I'm going to snap to this lower left corner and pick there move in the direction that I want that rectangle to go and then I'm going to type 7 comma 2.75 and press enter. Alright so my entire view, front view should fit right inside that rectangle. Uh, one thing I want to point out to you, let's look at the object snaps that we have uh, turned on. I'm going to pick on the down arrow next to the to the symbol for object snap. I have endpoint, midpoint, center point, quadrant, intersection, perpendicular, and tangent turned on right now. And uh, you may want to do, do the same. Uh, the other thing that I have turned on is polar tracking. And if I pick on the down arrow next to that, the one that I have checked is 90, 180, 270, and 360. So as I move my mouse around when I'm drawing a line, uh, my line when I get directly overhead is going to snap to 90 degrees or it'll snap to 180 if I'm going straight down whatever so those are helpful to have on so now I'm going to press escape actually just pick on the screen to get it get out of that alright I'm going to pick on this rectangle and you can see that it all lights up that's because a rectangle behaves like one entity and so in order to use it the way I want to I need to explode the rectangle and break it into four separate lines so now that I have it selected all I need to do is go find the explode command up here on the modify panel. So I can pick on explode and now that I've done that you don't see anything visible happen until you come in and pick on a line and you can see that now I can just separate I can pick that line separately. So now that I've exploded the rectangle the first thing I'm going to do is offset the top line right here one inch below and the reason I'm doing that because I can see that this part that sticks out right here is one inch wide. So I'm going to go up here and pick on my offset command and it's going to ask me for an offset distance so I'm going to type 1 and press enter and I'm going to pick the top line and then just pick anywhere below that line and then press escape. Okay so what I want to focus on is creating the front part of this and I'm going to do some more offsets to, uh, to figure out where all that stuff is and so I can see that this top line from this corner back to where it ends is three and a half inches. So I'm going to do an offset 
and when I'm prompted for the distance to offset I'm going to type 3.5 and press enter and I'm going to pick this front edge and then I'm just going to or this part on the right and just pick anywhere to the left and pick and that will offset that and then I'm going to press escape alright so that's how long the top of this piece is it would go to that point right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that right now I'm going to pick on the trim command and press enter and I'm going to trim that line right there and then press escape now I don't think I'm going to need that line again that I have right here so I'm just going to go ahead and pick on it and then pick the delete key or I could pick on erase and take it out alright so the next point I want to know is where this corner is this inside corner on the bottom edge of that and I can see that it's 2.75 back from the front so I'm going to do another offset and for my distance I'm going to type 2.75 and press enter Then I'm going to pick on the right side again and just pick somewhere to the left over here just pick and then press escape and uh, so this bottom edge right here would come all the way to that point right there and then it would be trimmed from there so let's go ahead and do the trim uh, command pick on trim and press enter and pick on that and then we can press escape alright so we know where that edge is so I'm not sure we're going to need this line anymore and so let's just pick on it and then press delete and take it out so now I have the uh, the two lines the top and the bottom line uh, that stick out I know they're in the right position so now I want to work on the bottom edge and figure out where those other lines that all where all this stuff joins up now if I looked over here on the left hand side of my sketch I can see that it's also one inch from the bottom up to this next level of this piece right here so let's do an offset there we'll pick on the offset command we'll type one for our distance and press enter pick on the bottom and then just pick anywhere above that and then press escape okay so what I see in looking at these dimensions down here on the on the bottom is that if I offset this line over 3.25 that will locate the front edge right here of this angled line so let's go ahead and do that let's do an offset and type 3.25 and press enter so I'm going to pick on this and just pick anywhere to the left of it and pick right there and press escape so what's really happening there is that there is a line now that connects from this endpoint to that point right there and so I can just come in here and pick on my line command and snap to this endpoint and then snap to this endpoint down there to place that line and then press escape another thing I could have done I'm going to erase that line out and show you something else you could do since I already had this line in place right here if I pick on that line and then I pick at the top of it on that top grip and just pick and hold down with the, with my mouse pick button I can move to that endpoint and pick and that's another way I could place that I can just grip at it do a grip set it on this line that was sticking the vertical line that was sticking straight up alright so the next thing that I need to locate is there is a straight line coming straight up here and looking at the sketch that looks like it's four inches from the right hand side so I'm going to do an offset pick on the offset command I'm going to type four and press enter pick the line on the right and then just pick anywhere to the left of that and then escape now what I want to do here is uh, trim this line from here down to right there and I really don't have to trim it I could I could pick trim and press enter and then pick it but I can also grip set it with it grip set it just pick on it pick on that top grip and drag that straight down to where it goes perpendicular right there and just pick and press escape now what I can do is place a line pick on the line command from the endpoint of that line to the endpoint of that line right there and then press escape okay so I have the basic shape I just need to do some trimming now so I'm going to pick on my trim command and then press enter and I want to be careful as I trim that I don't get rid of something that I may need later I can see that I can definitely trim that line and then as I look over here I can see that this line trims to right there uh, I don't need this line anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that one 
I don't need this line on the bottom right here so I can trim it to that point right there so I'm going to pick right there and trim it and then over here I still have a red line that's sticking up on the visible layer right over here I can pick on that and trim that out of the way as well so at that point I have the basic shape of the front view created now I could continue to draw this this part that sticks up right here this round part which we call a boss but what I'd rather do is work on the top view and project down uh, to this view from the top view to locate where that boss is at. I could also add a hidden line right across in here for this slot that goes through but I'm also going to wait until I draw my top view and then I'll just project from the edge straight down and locate where that hidden line is. So for right now this is as far as I'm going to take the front view uh, the next video, I'm going to show you how to construct the top view.